Alright, so to start with we'll look at Quietube. Now let's go through that again. I've just done <coughs> demonstrating YouTube videos and you know with any YouTube videos the chances are that if you display one in class, even if it's an educational video, potentially someone has posted an inappropriate comment about the video below and for visual students there's a whole lot of animation and stuff going on that we don't really want them to focus on. So I use this thing called QuietTube and um, I've got the link on the uh, presentation here that um, you can go and have a look at. So it's just QuietTube, no double T, QuietTube.com and good morning Kath. I just right mouse click on this and add it to my favourites and it's my favourites bar. So it appears up here. So I'm so sorry Chris, so when you said you right clicked, I, I was on actually that writing button. something down, so you just, yep. you've gone to add it. So I go to quiet tube. Yep. I right mouse click on this square, it oh, tells okay, you you can just drag nice. it up but it doesn't work for Internet Explorer, it works for Firefox <laughs> and Chrome, it just doesn't work for Internet Explorer. So the way you get it to Internet Explorer is quietube.com, right mouse click on the square, add to favourites. Are you adding a favourite that might not be safe? Do you want to continue? Yes I do. And I just pop it on my favourites bar, which is the bar immediately below or immediately above your tab windows there. Quite handy to get to stuff that you very quickly use. Is it hard to have a favourites bar set up? Not at all. Not at all. I'm sorry to ask that. You have a lot across that favourites bar. Yeah, you, you only want to use common things like, for instance, on your favourites bar, if you want to put your home email, for instance, yeah. a link to your home email, something that you regularly use that you don't want to have to physically type in a URL every time. I have Click View Live yeah. on my favourites. Click View Live, fantastic. Yeah. Um, Sydney Morning Herald, um, ABC, whatever. Like So you're limited to about... I think about six across the top there, and then it goes off the page and becomes a bit problematic. It, you go down to this little sort of window and then uh, they're all listed there. So just to show you what happens then, Kath, the reason why I was just showing you this is, you know, you show a YouTube video in class and kids are distracted at the many things that they can look at on the YouTube window. And even if you go to a religious church type video, the chances are that someone has posted an inappropriate comment. Mm -hmm. Okay, we don't want them to see that even though they can go home and see it, we don't want to see that. So I've browsed for, for this, I click on my quiet tube button on my browser bar now. So you open up your YouTube, whatever it is, you've got your YouTube Correct. Page. And it knocks everything out except the video and I can start playing the video. We don't want to see Barry White. Pass. <laughs> 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 yeah. So but that's quiet that, tube. Okay, with that, you know how like some of the YouTube clip, you kind of click it to make it full screen. And yeah, it will still it will still operate in that same way. Yeah. Um, so again, that's that expand window down the bottom right hand corner. It will still it will still do that. Okay. Um, obviously, you lose the you lose display. that resolution often yeah. when you do that, but um, that's still an option for you. Okay. So, pretty cool. Yeah. You know, very very basic, but it just removes that distraction from. And, and focusing on that vi that video itself. Okay, so it's really called a browser add-in or a favourites um, add-in that we've added there, quietube.com. The next one that we'll do is print what you like. Now, if for instance I go to this newspaper article, again, the whole reason that Sydney Morning Herald have gone into the online world is that they can advertise down the right hand side and pay for a lot of the extras that they are now offering, um, you know, with viewers and users. You've probably been on a website before and found some really, really good information. Press print and it prints out a whole lot of erroneous stuff that you don't really need. Okay? Enter printwhatyoulike.com. printwhatyoulike.com. Again, there's a bookmarklet or a little add-in that we can add. So I'll just click on that bookmarklet. Yep. So printwhatyoulike.com. By the way, I'm videoing this. 
and this will all be part of the, um, the presentation. Okay, so we click on bookmarklet. Were you left clicking on that, Chris? Left mouse clicking, yes. yes. Right click on this link, print what you like and add to favourite. So the same process that we use for QuietTube, I right mouse click on that, add to favourites, do you want to continue, and I'll pop it on my favourites bar again. Print what you like. Add that, and there it appears up there. Now, if I was ending up with too many across the top there, like I might have my six or seven or whatever, yep. do I then just sort of put it in my ordinary favourites? Yes. And then I can just, when I'm wanting that, I can just whip that. Yes. Up. The other thing is you can manage this, like for instance, I don't want this Bing site, so I might actually delete it. And that's just simply deleting it from my favourites bar. Upgrade your browser. Does it remain in your favourites if you delete it, Chris? Uh, no. Right. So when, I, when you say it prints what you like, it prints what you highlight then? Or yes, so we'll do that now. So you go to what your article is, so it could be a website, uh, it could be a newspaper report, like this, and I click on the toolbar, print what you like. Okay, so this little window comes up to the left hand side here. And now I can click on that, click on that, click on that, click on that, Click on that. You can see it's just highlighting it in yellow. But it's not picking up all the mess on the side. And it's not picking up all the mess on the side. You can draw a big box around it. Well, that didn't work too well. So Chris, you've just gone into that left hand <coughs> drop um, screen and then clicked on print and then gone across. I that. haven't clicked on print. No, I'm just, just I'm just basically you've, selecting you've things. That up and yep. You've so I'm New South Wales topics. I want all these things highlighted in yellow. I obviously want the title. The uh, journalist and the date. So it will now print purely all the things highlighted in yellow. I can go to print there's a little lab for in plus toner <laughs> and you could then print it to a printer or for this purpose I'm just going to um, print it as a PDF should at some point ask me to save it, which it does. And then if I just open Acrobat Reader, it should be sitting on my desktop somewhere as a PDF file, and that's not there yet. If you've got it as a PDF file on your desktop, why have you got it open after that? Why wouldn't it just open? Well, it, it generally should. I'm just having a few problems with Acrobat at the moment. I might just close this window. We should be able to go into desktop and it should be under the file name called test. There it is there. Oh, the other one's there too, unit file name. Okay. If I didn't want to save it as a PDF, I could just print it as... Print it direct. Print it direct. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So there we go. So it's just printed out the parts of the article that I've selected. And that works for any, any web page. And did you put the picture in? Did you highlight the picture? Um, I don't think I did, but one of the settings is over here. If you have a look, um, you can hide things like images. So once I did that, then the image disappears. So if you wanted to hide the image, you could actually do that, hide the background, you know, hide margins, etc. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it gives you quite um, some quite good functionality there, and um, you know, 
a lot of the stuff that you do print on the on off the web is not automatically formatted for A4 page size. So this is where this really does assist and help. Any questions? Great. Pretty straightforward. And it's free. And it's free. So every Thursday we're just going to do a couple little tools. It's only going to take 15 minutes. You can either bring your laptop and do it with me or just watch and ask questions and I'll um what I'm going to do is with the, um, the presentation, I'm going to stop that video. I'll put the video up there and then you can go back and review it if you want. All right. Fantastic. Thanks, Thanks very much, Chris. Have a great day.